uh, is you can really just leave a cipher plus one other member not even uh, of your team on site B after laying down those initial trap wires Here. and that makes for a very easy rotation towards site A uh, if uh, Magnifique do decide to push in there but that cipher the option really isn't open to them you can see two of them over uh, behind Pika over by the portals Juki's gonna go down instantly, but it is 4v4, and there's the party sound being open. Boom got laid down through the shroud. Uh, doesn't pick uh -oh. anyone up. Nade being thrown down towards the B alongside. Nice headshot pickup uh, by Terathiel. It is a 4v3 uh, right now. Made it through onto the site safely through Hookah. Okay, that's gonna give him a bit of intel. So now they know that uh, he's pushed down, she's pushed down B-Long. And they will just think about what they want to do. Pushing down B-Long now are the duo of Moxilla and C4. And uh, they have successfully tricked Celeste to think that they've gone to A. Sneaky, sneaky. We'll get the we'll get the plant, and here comes the portal. So two through the portal, three coming through, and then one coming in from CT. That is going to be none other than Rizai, Rizayu. And now they'll push each all of them. Tarotel will go down first. Ayumi taking out uh, T4, and Ayumi will drop Moxilla as well. So they get the defuse, and they'll take the test around 1-0 in pretty convincing fashion. I've actually figured it out now. And decipher the secret of how they're gonna hold the site without cipher. So Terathil is a very aggressive player. I have seen her play both inside FSL, outside FSL, and also I've played against her online. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna keep her towards the B side and allow her to kind of be the first rotator between A and B. So Either way, um, if she needs to jump portal, she'll jump portal and use that boom bot, that frag, uh, that frag grenade, which is also very cutely called none other than paint shells, does uh, basically is a slow plus damage. I mean, so it, it's throwing more than paint. That's that's yeah. that's <laughs> we gotta be sure. So that's that's definitely how they're gonna hold. And she's she she does have that creativity to know how to use how to use the blast packs to like jump up and stuff. So. She is going to be the uh, key player on this team coming into this game. Yeah, one thing that um, I think really separates the uh, good raise mains from the great uh, raise mains, which is something that we've seen Tara Thiel do, uh, is, as you mentioned, use the blast pack uh, for that extra mobility. I think a lot of uh, just uh, casual players don't really realize that uh, raise is a very mobile uh, agent. She can use her blast pack to really uh, boost herself up to uh, high spots, also to get a high ground advantage uh, once some skirmish breaks out also uh, her rocket launcher uh, can also boost her up of course she does uh, take the uh, splash damage uh, from that if she does use that but definitely opens up a lot of very creative ways uh, to play rays I think we've seen a couple uh, well <laughs> there are a couple of them floating around Facebook gaming twitch clips uh, of really insane uh, rays plays when they do have all their abilities up to get work from production, uh, one of the players is restarting their computer, which is why we are in a bit of a pause uh, situation. Uh, we also uh, got word uh, during the break, Celeste actually, because we were just uh, talking uh, during the break in between games about how game one Celeste style of play was just so clean. It was an absolute treat to watch. And as you brought that up, uh, we all actually heard from production that Celeste used to uh, play competitively together in, uh, I think it's Counter-Strike uh, in CSGO. And then now that Valorant has uh, launched, uh, they are trying their hand at playing Valorant competitively as well. So what? 
would be uh, a pretty uh, nice thing to add to their uh, virtual trophy case uh, if they do manage to win uh, the first season of the Female Esports League Asia Pacific Valorant Open. But that's, uh, I think, definitely what they're setting their sights on. It's also definitely uh, what the team should be expecting given the level of play that we've seen from them this entire competition. Yeah, and for all your custom PC needs, of course, have a look at Dream Core so you don't have to uh, restart your PC. They definitely will set you up and uh, prepare your uh, PC for all your competitive gaming needs. So big shout out to them for sponsoring FSL's, uh, I think they do other, other they, they sponsor other FSL mm -hmm. uh, tournaments as well. Now, if you're wondering how to get to the Dream Core website, you can always go on to Yahoo. So Use the Yahoo search engine and you'll get to the Dream Call website. Uh, the only thing I'm not very sure about is solid skill. Solid, super, super. Solid. Solid. Now, solid now, skills thing, are something that's is, a challenge to is, all of us. Even though I, you know? I don't know, I'm not so familiar with super solid, I would use, I would turn on my Dream Core PC, go onto my browser and use the Yahoo search engine to find out what Super Solid did. And uh, once, I, make, once I Yahooed it, I, I would find out that they make monitors. Yes. Uh, advanced so. high refresh rate monitors, perfect for content creators uh, and gamers as well. You know uh, what they say if you uh, don't, if you're looking for those solid skills, you know, uh, pick up some gear that will really help enable you uh, for that. S better refresh rates, that sort of thing will really help. You know, don't always blame uh, you dying in game to lag. I mean, I say you, but I mean the general you. I don't mean you. I really mean me, is what I mean. <laughs> I don't really complain, actually, when I play. <laughs> I, I, uh, but I do swear like a sailor. <laughs> so, um, as my whole family and friends can attest, I'm not that bad in real life, but uh, definitely when I game, I, uh, I'm a bit out of control with the swearing. But, yeah. We'll see how this turns out. Hopefully, we do get uh, you know more sponsors on online with FSL in the future. But uh, big shout out to those three right now. So we're gonna get back into the game. It is 1-0 on the score by Maxilla early on with the kill onto Valintibo through the wall as they try and push through, try and push through window. They'll back up for a bit. They'll put the offensive smokes now and the defensive smokes will also come out from Iceberg to try and slow down the attack. It is a full eco from them. They do have a frenzy on Jux and now they're gonna push down through long into B main. Moxilla waiting for the smoke to disappear but Iceberg already has her lined up. We'll get the kill. One more coming around the corner. That's Jux. The frenzy is gonna miss. She'll try and go for the triple. Now has the headshots, but misses. Doesn't matter though, because Harith is around the corner with the Bulldog. We'll finish off. And now Yumi coming in from window. will drop Jane, and that's going to be the round. They lose two. So pretty okay, Eco, but they don't get the spike plant, which is the most important thing that they wanted to get out of that. And that will bring it to 2-0 on the scoreboard. Still early days, nothing to really worry about. And um, they are going to go for a split by terror either that or they're just chilling out and thinking whether they want to do it yeah they'll go for the buy and that's going to be i think three specters i think three or four specters and a bulldog yeah yep yep three three specters a phantom and a bulldog mm -hmm. and that's a force from them so that's actually pretty interesting Going to force Phoenix uh, back to his original location. Jane right now, can't the uh, entrance to Hookah after that little cute little portal skirmish? Smoke's gonna go down at Hookah entrance though. Jane making sure she makes absolutely no sound as she makes her way through Hookah. It's going to catch out Iceberg right here though. Portal sound. Oh! What? Oh. How did Jane do that? Picking up two in Hookah. Uh, self heal as well is going to top her off back to max health walls off the uh, back CT side getting the spike plant this at times it's going to be the turnaround is a 4v3 right now in favor of team magnifique Ayumi over round needs the, the back needs the flash she needs the flash yeah, so little vision on site though 
One more flash. Uh, she gets taken out, but doesn't matter. Teratheo will come around the corner, get that headshot. We'll get the headshot onto Locke as well. <laughs> she is so... Jane, Jane will pick up a quad. Teratheo <laughs> with a quad as well. No! And Jane will be able to take out Teratheo. I mean, we talked about that, She'll right? It's pretty much no. Jane versus uh, Teratheo at this game. point. Yeah. Oof. Girls... You watching this? Add me on Valorant. Uh, my tag is the same as my caster tag is going to be uh, Ray Raju. Surprise, surprise. Add me in game. Let's play together. Pretty, uh, it's pretty rough though. So she used her showstopper alt in that round. So did get the kill. We'll give her the creds for that, but doesn't get that defuse. So that's not exactly what she wanted. Um, but nonetheless, we will trudge on. The show must go on. 2 1 on the scoreboard in favor of uh, Celeste at the moment. Yeah, but and what it's a, evening out. Yeah, what a huge uh, clutch win for Magnifique for that round. We talked about how Bind uh, is a... One of the uh, more imbalanced maps does heavily favor the defender's side. So the fact that Magnifique actually 2-1 and one is a very respectable uh, score, but we'll see. Lots of action already going down on his side. A third time's the charm. Picks up the hit shot out with the sheriff, but oh, reload rate. Gonna be too slow. Does it go down? Will be a 3v2 situation. Trap are going to reveal their location for now. Uh, they only know that uh, Brimstone is there. They don't know that it's actually two people coming through that entryway, though. So Molly going to go down over into U Haul. Flash coming out. It's going to be the signal for it then to make a move onto the site. Picks up the Sova. Brimstone goes to down. And as a well, but now it's just <laughs> Phoenix versus Cypher. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And it's even funnier because we can see their chat <laughs> on our screen. We can see their uh, oopsie <laughs> in the party chat. Oh no. Uh, comedy of errors uh, that round, but uh, it's going to be a two and two. Definitely a highlight of the match <laughs> in, uh, in a grand final. Hi highlight's so. one way of putting it. I think you mean the other one. <laughs> But yeah, uh, very entertaining. Uh, that's uh, for sure. It's nice that uh, you know the players recognize this. Uh, they can let loose a bit, just uh, let off a bit of steam. I think from the high pressure situation of having played for two straight days uh, during the tournament. All right, let's see. Eco coming out from Celeste right now. And <laughs> what? They've gone through the portal to kind of confuse them. And they're stacking up at mid now. But that's going to give the free reign for Magnifique to get into the site pretty easily. Now the counter, ro the rotate from Celeste from mid will now come through onto the A side. They're going through CT. For some reason, they will waste a uh, orbital strike. And now, as the spike has been planted, We'll start to make their way in. Defensive smoke on he Heaven. Blast pack. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Skills for days, but doesn't follow up with any kills. So unfortunately for her, it doesn't really help out. Orbital Strike comes down. The offensive Orbital Strike, that is. And Z4 will pick up a kill. So now Ayumi and Rizai are still up. Rizai with a headshot. Ayumi and a headshot as well. She has to go for the DP. She goes for the fake to try and be at front. But will be taken out as Moxilla will drop her pretty well. Probably shouldn't have rushed in, I think. And just held at the shower entrance. What a close round! But that was a pretty... That was skills, man. That was... So, oh my god, that was so nice. As a raise main, I mean, I, I just... I personally, I don't think I'm ever going to have the raw skill to pull something like that off. Damn, I could, man, I hoped we, I, I wish we had replay. I ho I wish we had a replay system where we could just put that on the instant replay. The distance Perfect. so well. Yeah. The, the timing on the blast pack as yeah. well to make it that entire uh, distance straight amazing. through the door. Like, I could practice that to get that good, but I'm just not going to have that raw instinct to be able to do that or be as bloodthirsty as that man. If that had worked out, hats off to her straight for the highlight reel, but I mean, still very impressive. I won't be able to do that because my sense is way too low. <laughs> when you, you swipe, when you swipe your mouse across your mouse pad. Yeah, it is. It's way too low. 
It's like 400 DPI, what? 0 0.25, no. something like that, yeah. No way. There we go. Flurry of kills at uh, so fast at Chow's that I can't even keep up with them. And Moxilla did pick up at least three. So they do have the spike down, 1v3 situation. They have one at short, two at uh, showers. Alt comes out, Iceberg will break the wall. And Ayumi will be taken out. So she'll find the information about where that short person is. Needs to be able to take her out. Fire onto the wall, onto the floor. And now it's gonna get dropped. So Ayumi will be able to drop the Lil. Has two in showers. Might be able to pick up a double. Unable to do so. C4 will be able to drop Ayumi. And um, it's actually a very dangerous plant. The plant outside of showers. Because mm -hmm. they can go very wrong if they have the right utility. But even if they don't have the right utility, you can... You can actually hold down that angle and spray that angle pretty fast. But yeah. that will bring it a 4-2. Yeah, that's... Uh, I think what Magnific is doing is they're trying to get the runaround on Celeste as much as possible. We're talking about how Celeste came over from a competitive CS Go, the girls. Uh, as you've seen, they have a very clean play style. They communicate very well. I think the way Magnific is trying to win this is just by being so creative and just doing things that Celeste probably has not seen in their practice screens. I think that's uh, the way that Magnific has been able to actually take four straight rounds on the attack on Bind, something we've absolutely never uh, seen before. Uh, especially in the last two days of this competition. It's a uh, race. Backstab. Yep. Backstab alt. And they get the spike down. But unfortunately for them, they don't know that Valentivo is in sight as well. So she's just, just going to check showers. She knows that someone's there. And if she can take him out, she's going to go for the defuse very quickly. Sneaky, sneaky. Bang. Gets the head and the chest. And she'll go for the few defuse. No problem. There's a wall still up. Has a teammate and uh, we'll be able to get that field defuse very easily. So that's 4-3 on the scoreboard. Celeste finally getting into the groove of things and looking slightly brighter for them now as they've uh, equalized the economy somewhat. Yeah, eco... Mm. Both these teams, yeah, it's going to be sort of a mixed buy uh, on the side of Magnifique after losing that. Or I can see two pistols. Looks like it's going to be a double sheriff uh, full shield. Uh, where it's just going to be the light shield uh, for Jukies this time around. Looks like it's going to be a slow push round towards B site. Mid usually very heavily contested at this point in time. Kind of got the number on Celeste. They know there's usually around two people hanging around around uh, the hookah. Uh, around this entrance over by the portals. Oh, Ayumi does pick up C444 off screen though. Already turning this into a 5v4. Magnifique do look like they want to commit onto B though. There's the portal. Nice shot. Uh, is going to get uh, her ultimate off of that as well. But right now, Sage, your last person left alive. Can Jane do anything? It's going to be a, a no. Flawless coming out from Celeste to tie this one up for and for her. Well, they're going to be happy about it so far. Getting getting four on attack is already a pretty, pretty big uh, accomplishment on mm -hmm. bind. And anything else from here, she, they're going to be pretty happy. So we're going to see a Sheriff Eco coming out from, well, mostly Sheriff Eco coming out from Magnifique. And they're going to see what they can do. But like I said, I have a very big disdain for Sheriff Ecos because I, 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 I don't really, I've never seen... I don't know. Yeah, funny, yeah funnily at least, enough, at least locally, you've I've mentioned never it seen, a few yeah, times. I've never seen a, a team that has been super proficient with super prof proficient with the uh, with the sheriff, like all of their members. Yeah, really I mean, it works on some of them. Jane, such a crack shot with that sheriff, just instant one shot tap you in the head. Uh, but yeah, I mean, full team, bit iffy. Last one standing in that round as Valencia was uh -oh. able to pick up uh, pick up two, I think, and then Tara, uh, Yumi picked up two as well. I think and all of that happened at the A side. Yeah, I think he's trying to see if he can get 
ace planted down. Let's see if you can maximize that. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! 200 credits in the bag. Plus picks a phantom. Up, mm -hmm, picks up Rinsome from Huga. Flash Double coming out kill. though! Oh. Okay. Interesting. Three on one. Portal sound. Here's a collapse coming in from Celeste. And they're, they're stacked up on window. This could be... Oof. Nice blast okay. pack. And those were the plays we were saying. Blast pack just to get that instant high ground advantage. You get that boost kind of the way that uh, you would play if you were the uh, if you were Jet uh, as well. Uh, yeah, instantly boost you up high. Get a good shot down. The only thing is uh, your aim does uh, suffer a bit. Uh, when you are moving uh, that way, but not a problem for Tarathia, especially also she had three members uh, from her team versus it just one on Magnifique, but very nice collapse. I think Magnifique should be not happy, but all right uh, with that. I think Sobo is really trying to maximize what he could get. Uh, which was the kill credits, 200, and the plant for another 300 more. Yeah, so they're going to go through the cyber cage, and there is a wall, so they're going to have to navigate that. C4 will be able to drop Rizai, and the ult coming out now. So they're going to see all the positions. They'll go for the rotate now, but they know where the defensive rotate is coming out from. Recon Bolt is ready to ready to go. Iceberg on Heaven, though, will drop one. Volensible with a headshot on Jane over at Shot, and now that will bring it to a two-on-two. They do have high ground advantage, and that's going to help Iceberg. And now the U-Haul is Jukes. 1v1 right now. Jukey's trying to look for that. Uh, Brimstone is behind uh, middle back of the site. Oh, they are going to meet each other in lamps! Hmm. Just better, better cross. That that was essentially better crosshair um, placement, placement around the corner. Yep. Yeah. Not much to complain about there, and that will bring it to six four on the scoreboard. Two more rounds remaining. We're into the eleventh round of this of this half, and we do have an operator finally on Rizai, who is going to hold shot. Safety's off. Comments? <laughs> uh, I'm a bit surprised that it's uh, taken this uh, long, actually, because we've seen uh, the defense side actually uh, usually stick to two members over around Hookah. I think in general, a lot of people will get that sniper early and stick the sniper down be long, uh, I think, but we haven't uh, really seen that despite this uh, being the 11th mm. round so far. No. 2v5. Spike is down, however. Uh, no one really with that much vision around it. Uh, Recon ball going to reveal location for now. Okay, we say that. Volensible does have. Uh, does lay down the smokes uh, to kind of hope that someone from the enemy side is going to walk in and maybe be able to pick them up. Does hear the footsteps, however. Picks up the cypher. Here's the portal. Zalma gets instantly uh, killed off right as he steps out of the smokes. So, uh, good effort, but uh, no cigar. 7-4. And now we're into the final round of the first half. Uh, if I was Celeste, I wouldn't be very happy about this score. Definitely could have done a lot better, but we'll see what happens when we do switch sides. Magnifique, though, on the other hand, are going to be ecstatic with four rounds on the attack on Bind. And now we'll see how it uh, turns out. Full buy and a bit of a force. Actually, force half force by. I mean, it's the last round, but they, they have to go... Spectre instead of rifle. So now we're gonna see window pop up in a few short seconds. The little ready to go should maybe put a recon bolt and decides against it. So they're waiting for the omen to come in, and that's Jukes. We'll pick up a double. 
and the auto rotate will be called in. We do have Parathiel coming through CT, but she's gonna get walled off. A bit of a hole though in the wall, and that's gonna allow her to possibly get two kills. She'll get one, and now they need to break the wall, which they will do now. In the back line, is there anyone? There is Valintabo over at Elbow, but will get taken out. So Terrafield is going to be the last one standing as Rizai tries to go through Elbow. She does have her ult. Pops the nade. We'll get Moxilla. Showstopper oh! after using two blast packs. We'll get the double. And that is going to allow her to get the defuse. So an amazing round from Celeste. I mean, Pretty unconventional uh, retake, and they will head into the second half, 8-4. Tarathiel, girl, she's my MVP for sure. I mean, a lot of uh, people, when they're uh, thinking of the way that they like to play in other games, then they come over to Valorant, you know, usually the uh, um, people who favor Fulashi, uh, assassin, duelist type uh, of uh, play styles. I think those, uh, that section of the player base just very naturally gravitates towards agents such as Reyna, Jet, uh, Phoenix uh, as well. But Ray's mains, man, they're a whole different breed. Tarathia just showing us how flashy and how good it looks uh, when you make those flashy plays happen. Okay, well, they have a bit of a buffer now, so a pistol round can go Ari for them if they want. And let's see, they're gonna wall it off, are they, if that recon ball picks up everyone, anyone. So they do pick up uh, two or three, so they'll pop down the wall, and that's gonna delay that push for a short bit. They do, though, have a Yumi on showers, and she's gonna push up slowly. But right behind that wall is Jane, so she's lining them up. She just has to let a couple through and hope that they don't check her. Okay, let's one through. Good work. Is waiting. Wall's gonna crack pretty soon. We'll come around the corner and get uh, the kill. No, she won't. Iceberg will say not today. And then they will rotate through portal because they do recognize that uh, that has delayed oh their push God. by a huge extent. Boombot gonna go straight into CT. It's gonna slow get slowed down slightly. He'll teleport across. So actually, that's pretty good use of the teleport by Juxi. And comes around the corner. Goes up against Terathiel. You can't miss your shots when you go up against her. And C4 will drop her though, as she tries to go around corner to clear that. Last one standing is C4. As the goal, Spike is down, and Valintabo will finish her off. So 9-4 on the scoreboard. They pick up the pistol round, and Celeste is definitely where they want to be now. They'll be happy picking up the pistol round, which probably will give them the advantage now. And then they just have to hold on. Yeah, it's going to give them a momentum, as you said, into round two as well as round three. Since we do see a lot of the time, uh, the side that takes the first pistol round very likely takes the uh, second round as well. So Magnifique's definitely looking to uh, close this gap now that we are after the swap. Flash going to come out already. It's going to be a 4v4 situation. Trathia with the spike. Oh, boom, but... Doesn't have a time to explode however it gets gunned down straight away and right now in lamps. Oh, this is gonna be sneaky. Omen picks up the kill right round the corner uh, over in lamps and right now it's just 4v1c444 over on uh, CT side does manage to pick up one, however, but does mean that the other three members of Celeste know where he is. They know that he's the last member uh, left alive from the side of Magnifique. He's kind of wanting to get some, uh, looking like she wanted to get some exit frags from there, but uh, Bomb is taking. Oh, is she going to make it? Nope, she gets gunned down instead uh, by the Rays, uh, by Terathiel, and yep, yeah, very uh, textbook ending to that round. I think a lot of the times we see uh, some of the girls where it looks like they want to eco and save their gun, uh, but then we also see them just kind of turn around and be like, wait, you know, like, exit frag, exit frag, come on, and then instead they get gunned down. So, bit of a 50-50, uh, which they choose. Kind of feel like sometimes, you know, you want to 
If you want to bring your gun to the next round, just stick to it. Hide somewhere. Authentic smoke on short now. Iceberg with the molly. Gonna try and cut off anyone who is around that corner and potentially U-Haul. And another smoke is getting ready. Terrafield onto window. Cyber Cage has been popped. Does a decent amount of damage onto C4, who is at CT, of course. And we'll try and boom uh, pack anyone around the corner. Now she is going to be the signal to see if any if you can pick off anyone, they'll rotate to B. And now the offensive smokes on uh, A side will be able to drop Jane. Moxilla comes around, gets the return kill. Terrafield drops C4, Juxi though. On to Terrafield. Now back onto the A side. Dalil picks up a double edge short. And that will mean the only one left standing is Valinsible. Now she does know that there's one of them at U-Haul, but she doesn't know where the rotate is from. Suddenly thinks, okay, maybe there is a rotate. That's Juxi going down. And the last one standing is going to be Dalil. Now she's trying to bait her out with the telly. And that is working out pretty well. And if Dalil just had a slightly more patience, maybe that would have been a very different uh, different outcome. But 11-4 on the scoreboard now. They do have the lead. And the big question right now for Magnifique is, do we go for a force buy, Spectre force buy, and risk just being broke coming into match point or do we do we go for the eco and then try and claw our way back in with some money the next round yeah it's stuck between a rock and a hard place it's really never a good decision it's kind of what we were saying you know you're down uh at the 11 uh round mark you know that they only need two more rounds left. Well, uh, they, they are doing. So yep, exactly. It is four uh, and three. There is a uh, uh, fire down right by the portal. Down to two members of the Celeste alive. Actually, it's going to be a two v two. They do even out the score. Uh, Omen and Cipher going up against uh, Juki's uh, Valensible as well as the Sage who still has Spike looking for a good spot to plant. They know the site isn't clear, but they do get that very good pickup over in lab. So it means it's just going to be a 2v1. They know if they can uh, pick up the Sage. Uh, they've got this one in the bag and that uh, half eco is really working out uh, for them. Yeah, the force buy has worked out so they do have a bit of money heading into the next round and that will help them out uh, to keep it away from match point hopefully. So yeah, very nicely done for that. I think uh, what we've seen, especially in the top two teams, a lot of very good uh, angle checking, especially. They have very good map sense, so when you see them slowly going into a room such as Lamps, they kind of know that the enemy, uh, someone from the enemy team, is going to be there. Just, uh, I like it. I like seeing this high level of play. So we do have the alt on Phoenix. Terathiel has her showstop already as well. We have a backstab telly ready uh, in the form uh, of Duke C, Hunter's Fury also, and then you have a Res. So that's going to help them if uh, retake goes wrong. Camera is going to is going to tag someone on long, so they do know that them there's potentially a long push coming in. Question now is, how is this going to turn out? Rizai will pick up an orb, so she's one kill or the spike away from having a Res. And I think this round is really going to go down to the wire. So Juxi now with the spec with the Phantom has that teleport. Potentially could just go and teleport Jukes out over. now. Good and day. they're going to decide to to use uh, Yumi. Going to decide to use her ult. So that's good. Gets a bit of information. Well, Lincible and Terrafield on the side will pick off the one at uh, one at elbow, one at CT, but has to contend with Moxilla at elbow who will pick her up. Eisenberg will stop that portal coming through and Terrathiel will wrap up the round. So we go to map point. And it is also mm, grand final point. It's best of three, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we, we, are, are we are grand final point as well. Ooh. If Celeste can pick, pick this round, they are the champions yep. for the first FSL Valorant Open. It is down to the wire now. We do have four alts. Okay, we have four alts on Magnifique, including a res. So let's hope that the res is used, you know, well and Sage stays alive. I, I think the Sage from Team Celeste actually used her res at the end of the last round. Not sure if 
it was No, she doesn't have enough, but the thing is Magnifique Sage who uh whose team is down you know, seven rounds and is on grand final point has died, so that res is gone. And Ayumi goes down for Celeste. So it's a four on four. They're, they're not out of the woods yet. They do have that all the Dan Dan the Lil will drop Valintibo at window. Juxi does have full utility, so she can teleport if you want. And they she's gonna use that sheriff. She misses her shot, so she will go down. Now C4 needs to pull something out of the hat to keep her team in this boom bot kind of come through. They do have an orbital strike. So they call the orbital strike down to stop that spike plan. That's pretty good work right now. See if we're gonna come around the corner. Counter orbital strike on to window. Will stop one. Delil's gonna be able to be able to pick up one kill. Here comes the shield stopper. Will she be able to pick up Moxilla? No, there is a wall there. Seafall goes down though. Terrafil will get taken out by Moxilla. So now it's a 1v1. Here comes the stim beacon. Right behind the wall. The wall's gonna go down. Oh. And Moxilla, unfortunately, will be taken out by Rizal. Who isn't the most uh, you know, the most strong of players, but definitely at that crucial moment pulled out the goods and has essentially sealed